Hey guys, John here from eTrailer.com. Today we have our 2020 Audi Q7. We're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Aeroblade Edge Roof Rack. This is a very sleek design that looks like an OEM crossbar system. The crossbars end in the legs and so it just looks very sleek, very aerodynamic, and it's a great fit for this vehicle. It's designed to help get cargo up out of our vehicle and up on our roof to give us more room and to load larger things like a kayak or maybe a bike. The Aeroblade Edge crossbars have a nice aerodynamic design, so it's a little bit bigger in the front but then tapers off at the end. It has an aluminum construction, so we don't have to worry about any rusting or corroding, but we still retain the 165 pound weight capacity that's standard for roof racks. This rubber strip on top covers our T-track, so we're able to use accessories that clamp around our crossbar as well as ones that insert into the T-track. But this rubber strip also helps to eliminate wind noise that might be going through the T-track. Here we'll remove the cover and we'll show you what it looks like. On the inside, we have just a single bolt that holds each leg, so it's a very easy installation. And then here's the T-slot that we mentioned, so it really helps to make our whole system look nice and sleek when we use this to mount our accessories. Plus, if we, uh, if we upgrade to the locking core, it locks the cover onto our leg, which then locks our whole crossbar system and any T-mounted accessories to our vehicle. One of the most common questions we get is when someone has a moonroof or a sunroof on their vehicle, they wanna know if there's gonna be enough clearance between the crossbars and the glass. With this setup and on the Q7, we do have enough room with the roof rack installed. From our glass to the bottom of the crossbars is right about three inches. I don't see us having any accessories that are gonna use a mounting system that's that thick that it's gonna make contact. However, when we do open up the moonroof, we will have reduced clearance. Here we have our moonroof opened. We get a measurement here at the back of the crossbar. From the glass to the bottom of the crossbar is right about two and a half inches. So it does reduce our overall clearance here. Now, even if we do have enough clearance to mount an accessory on the crossbar system, it's important to note that with the roof rack installed, even though this is a high-end roof rack that really does a great job at reducing wind noise and drag, if we open up the moonroof, we're gonna be creating a different kind of aerodynamic system and we'll probably be hearing some noise. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go ahead and install it together. So we've already installed the front bar for our system. We'll go ahead and install the rear. And what I recommend doing when we get our kits is to open up all the boxes, lay all the hardware out, make sure everything's accounted for before you get started. We're going to insert the plastic core into our cover. So we have a locked and unlocked. We're gonna make sure that the line is going in the unlocked position. Just place it. Press it in place like that. Now these are plastic and these basically just serve as a way to keep the cover in place. We can upgrade these to metal lock cores to actually physically lock the covers in our roof rack to our, system, to our vehicle. And then next we will insert the rubber strip into the T-track of our crossbar. And it has like these two grooves and so what I do when I install it is I basically take this one groove and kind of feed it in first and the other side presses down pretty easily. So just go the length of the crossbar. You might need to work it back and forth a little bit if you're having, uh, if you're having problems getting it to seat properly. With the rubber strip installed, we're now ready to start assembling our hardware. These pieces here are what we're going to use to attach our roof rack to our factory rails on our vehicle. So we're gonna set these aside for when we go to put our roof rack on the vehicle. So we'll grab the rest of our fit kit, we'll take the rubber pad, and then these metal brackets. We're gonna make sure that the single hole is going to 
go down on the rubber piece. The dual holes, those are going to be butted up against the legs on our crossbar system. So do that for both sides. And now we're ready to attach these to the legs on our crossbar. So we mentioned making sure that we have the two holes for the fit kit. And what that does is we need to rotate this silver piece so that we have the two holes facing out. There's a single, single thread, we need the dual threads. So next we just put this up in place. And then we'll use our bolts and we'll loosely install these bolts. And we'll repeat the same process for the other side of the crossbar. Next, we'll come over to our vehicle. And here in the rails, there are these little tabs that you just press down on one side and it tilts up. So we'll press on this end of the cover and rotate it up. And then over on this side, there is a threaded hole that we will install this bolt. And there's kind of like a band here around the bolt. That is the side that's gonna go down. So let's install it. Twist that some by hand. We'll place the sleeve over it. Now we'll take our smaller Allen wrench and tighten this down. We'll repeat the same process for the other side of the vehicle and we're ready to grab our crossbar and install it. Something to note is on the leg part of this crossbar system, there are numbers and tick marks here. So when we put it on the roof, we just need to make sure that we adjust the crossbar so that it has the same tick on either side so we know it's nice and centered. When we place our crossbar on our roof, make sure that the thicker side will be facing the front of the vehicle and the thinner side is facing the rear of the vehicle. Reach over and carefully place the fit kit on top of that bolt. Now we'll go back and forth and we will adjust the crossbar, making sure that those ticks lined up like we just mentioned. So we've got our crossbar in place. We're going to place the lock washer over this bolt, as well as the nut. We'll tighten this down using our included tool. And we will repeat the same process for the other side, just getting the crossbar system nice and snug to our roof rails. With our crossbar system secured to our roof, the next step is to make sure we have the crossbars aligned like we mentioned, pointing out the tick marks, make sure it's even on the other side. And then we're gonna start tightening down these bolts, this top bolt, just make sure that our, uh, our crossbar here won't move from that tick mark. And then we'll also tighten down these bolts here that secures the leg of our crossbar system to our fit kit. Repeat the same process for the other side. Just make sure that we don't tighten down one side all the way and we go back and forth so that we get a nice even installation. Last step is to place our covers over the legs. I'd like to point out there's these little clips here. We need to make sure that we get over these tabs. And so, Start off by looking at both ends, make sure we get those nice and even. Let's gently place the cover over the leg. Grab a screwdriver, turn the plastic core to the locked position. Now our cover is secured. Repeat the same process for the other side. But that's gonna complete our look at the Thule Aeroblade Edge roof rack on our 2020 Audi Q7. Thanks for watching.